been so much attention paid in recent months to this week's elections that we are now only realizing with the elections over the holiday season is officially about two weeks away. It's upon us. And while there's a lot to think about family gatherings, what to eat, Michelle Lonergan from Tabby and Jack's is with us today with a reminder to also think about what the holidays mean for your pets. How are you? It's I'm good. Great to see. And Lucy, Lucy and her little tutu is with us today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love you and all your toys. Okay, first of all, there I mean, there is so much to think about, but you want to start with exercise, and I know your dog's been in doggy daycare all day, otherwise pretty hyper. Exactly. Um, when your dog's at home cooped up all day long, um, they have lots of energy when you get home from work. So especially, you know, with the holidays coming up, you have, you know, tons of people coming over for a party. It's a really a good idea to make sure that they're you know, tired out by the time your company gets there. Absolutely, and Lucy's doing a good job of she just is. being sacked out here. <laughs> um, <laughs> my dog would never stand for the doo doo. <laughs> okay, anxieties. A lot of pets have anxieties. Talk about um, the, all of the different things that you have here, and I know you have sure. a couple of different things here. I want to start with this because I'm fascinated by this. Yeah, the um, the Thunder Shirt is. Um, the, they coined the name of the Thunder Shirt for thunderstorms. Um, works wonderful for dogs that have anxiety when there's thunderstorms. It also works for other kinds of anxieties that dogs might have, like um, so many dogs are anxious when people come to visit, mm -hmm. um, jumping up on people and, you know, won't leave your company alone. So how it works is it acts like a hug. Um, so the, the jacket actually wraps around the dog and it calms them by virtue of giving them a hug. Wow. Okay, we're running out of time quickly. You say you've sold these for two years. You sell a lot of them. You've never had anybody return them. Correct. And the company has a 45-day guarantee, and we've never had anybody return them. Okay. There you go, folks. Uh, what else do you have here for anxiety? Uh, for anxiety, we have the essential oil these? sprays. Um, those are um, blends of essential oils specific for dogs that you, you spray in your hands and spray or and rub inside their ears that that really? naturally calm them. Okay. And then all, all and these then chew toys. The chews are a good idea when you have company and you want to keep them occupied. Good shoe toys um, and good shoe bones are really a good idea. Yes, they are. Okay. I'm just going to run through these really quick. Holiday plants with toxins to be careful about. Christmas tree, not in itself toxic, but the water accessible to your pet might right. be a problem. Right. Okay. Poinsettia sap, mildly toxic. Mistletoe and holly, much higher toxicity levels, so just be very careful about those and contact Correct. your vet. Um, Thanksgiving, feast. Uh, completely safe and healthy, you say, to share your feast with your pet, with these exceptions. No turkey skin, That's anything correct. with sugar, chocolate, grapes, or onions. Okay, why the turkey skin? What is it? The turkey skin contains a ton of fat. There's um, pa um, Thanksgiving pancreatitis is very common in dogs okay. uh, around Thanksgiving time because people are dumping all the fat and the, the skin on the dog's food. Not and then healthy. Just real quick, avoid starchy foods, potatoes and breads, and, and otherwise... Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, right? Yes. Pretty much. Michelle, thank you so much for coming in. Lucy, you too. It's always well, great thank to you see you. And I know you. we're going to have you back in before the holidays with some great gift ideas if these aren't already uh, for the pet lover and your family. Appreciate you coming in. We're back with the final check.